Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video tutorial I am making to demonstrate how can we import Primera P6 program from Enterprise to Primera P6 Cloud. I already make a video before to demonstrate and explain and to give the introduction of Primera P6 Cloud. Kindly visit my channel to see the introduction and different components of Primera P6 Cloud. This video series is a second of my series to demonstrate the procedure of importing the program and assigning baseline. So let's start in Primera P6 itself. Now we are in Primera P6 Cloud introduction page. Once we are you are opening the Primera P6 Cloud and your company gives you access to the Primera P6 Cloud. As I explained before in my previous uh, video that now, now the Primera P6 is a web-based cloud and it does not need to be the Primera P6 enterprise to be installed on your system. You can access your data anywhere in the world. Just you need internet connection with the and you have need the uh, Primera P6 Cloud access. So I have the access, so I'm going to import the program. So once you, you have this video, you input, you uh, enter your uh, email, company email address and your uh, provided password, you will get this with, uh, introductionary uh, screen. Once this uh, screen is happened, you just uh, on the uh, left top, you will see Oracle monogram and then the one drop down box uh, arrow. So once you click this drop down uh, arrow, you can find there's three options available, program, project, programs and workspace projects list the, all the project program you have in the uh, in your system program is you know the program is a collection of projects and workspace workspace as i explained before it is the same like as enterprise project structure in uh, primary pieces uh, pieces in the enterprise so in here in the workspace you can make different workplace uh, workspaces for your different projects and all the projects uh, or pre files related to same project you can put in the same workspace it will like a file management so now we go to workspace uh, click workspace and we go all view all workspace so it will show us all workspaces we have uh, one primary p6 training so just click primary p6 training okay and you can see here we have at the bottom view all projects and we have one add button if you click the add button or drop down this one uh, arrow you have two option here either you can to add project or you want to add template so i want to add the projects so or you can go here do one thing else just go and view all projects it will show you the list of all the projects available in that in uh, p6 primary training so if you want to add new project just click add it will add something a program you are making from scratch we already have developed our program in p6 enterprise and now we are uh, uh, transforming transferring from p6 enterprise to p6 cloud so our we will go and click down this uh, drop down box here you have import from p6 so just click import from p6 then you have to import file dialog box will open here you have three button, dot buttons where you it, it's for the browse just click the browse button and you just select the file you location select the location where you save the file i already saved this location so i just click the program p6 enterprise and click open once it's done you can go next button Next button will give you configuration in the dialog box. Here you have so many configuration like for the calendars, curves, resource assignment, resource name. We already assigned resource name in P6 Enterprise. So if you want to keep the same or update, uh, update. Similarly, you have the relationship. You have to keep the same relationship or you have to update WBS calendar. All you have to be select from here. So I like you. If you select anything, for example, if I select risk here, and then this risk will be highlighted, and this drop down box will give you three option. Either you can keep update, uh, update existing, keep existing, or do not uh, import. The update existing is that if already the data is there, it will update the existing data, or it will it will keep the previous. Uh, it will keep the same data, or do not import. Sometimes you don't want to uh, import, uh, don't want to import relationship. So if you are importing the program, and in the in, the, in this dialog box you can select do not import. In this case, relationship will not be import. So once you have just review this uh, configuration tab, click finish to finish the installation. So now you can see how you get a message project import is underway. It will take some time, so we'll come back in a while. Now we import the program from P6 
enterprise to PCs cloud. Once the import is completed, you will get one notification here in the bell bo button. Just click bell button. You will see that your import completed successfully and it will give you before the time. And to show the program, you need to uh, uh, this, uh, you need to refresh your page. It will show you the program imported. So once the program is imported, just click on the program and go in the schedule. And uh, when you click the program, it will show you the project name and the start and finish and some basic information like project manager. You should see the activities, you have to go to schedule and select activities. Now you can see the activities will be appear, it will be uh, shown. Once the activities are shown, you see that your always activity ID uh, is the second column. So just drag and drop to the required location. And then you can see that your it will not show any start and finish date. So to show a start and finish date, you need to schedule the program. Just schedule, press schedule button and schedule now. It will take few minutes and then it, all the dates will be uh, shown on the program. And once your schedule is completed, you will get again one notification. So you can see it's my screen that now it shows that schedule is completed. So once completed, it will show you all the dates. So now we have assigned import the program from PCS Enterprise to PCS Cloud. Now the next step is we want to assign our baseline. So to assign the baseline, we just we go again in the schedule and the schedule you see at the bottom this baseline. So just select the baseline. When you select, we'll come here. And you can see here there's no program assigned for as a baseline for this project. So you need to add. So just select add button. Once you select add, you can see the name. You can put any name which is easy for you to remember. Okay, and then source the current schedule, or you can make from history if you have other. You can make from history, and then category. Categories you have to. It's like a type of the baseline you are assigning. So it will be depends on the which category you want to work. If you want to make, it will be custom. Uh, custom make. It's not the. Uh, assigned by the primary PCS cloud itself. It's, it will be generated based on your company requirements or your project requirements. So for this, if you don't have any specific requirement or you want to uh, separate different uh, baseline for different reasons, if you don't have any for such requirement, you just escape it and in the description, just click right there that is the original baseline. Okay, once you do this one, then just click add button. Just click yes. And now your baseline is assigned. So when your baseline is assigned, you can go in the schedule again and go to activities. And the activities you can now you can see here that we have to the ID and the activity name. Again, we need to just uh make our activity id first then activity name plan duration remaining duration if you want to show the remaining duration just go to the plus button here and then just general just general contains the activity codes or information like this percentage we don't need to percentage show here and now here you can see that we have separate sep different uh, items like actual duration uh, current duration here you can find that remaining duration will come once the remaining duration will come you just make it uncheck so it will not shown now once you remove this bar just close this one and then now we want to show the original baseline plan date and start date finish start date and finish date so we can see that here original baseline start finish and start date you can see that these two are high hidden so you want to make it open just click on these two similarly go again and then you, this is I don't know why it, you have to again every time you have to do this one I think pre six should think about this and don't make it open because it takes too much scrolling so now we, we have baseline, baseline original baseline and list start and then we have original baseline and leave finish just uh, uncheck this one now you can see the baseline start finish dates again you have to show the float so we just go again general percentage and duration you can find the flow, total float so you can write here total float okay so you have total float it is check already okay so it means this audition here so we just miss it now we original baseline start you should bring it here start and now our uh, layout is that we have a tree id 
Acronym name or description, plan duration, original baseline start, original baseline finish, and now for actual or for forecast start, finish, and total flow. So once do you have this one, now your program is ready. You can make it uh, start updating. Now you already assigned the baseline. So once you have the program already there, you can open other projects. I just show, want to show one thing. You just go here and go to program. For example, we have this one, one program. We go, go workplace. In the workplace, we go view all workplaces. Then we have this one, Planner P6 training. Okay, and then you have this program, open the program, second program, and then you go. Go to schedule and select activities. Once you show the activities here, you can see now. Now you can go here from in the right hand menu bar. You have you'll find that we have one command which is dashboard. So just select the dashboard list here. And dashboard gives you very good into inf information and very uh, only make it uh, built in uh, uh, dashboard. So it's very important. Like for example, activity dashboard will show you information about the activities. How many activities are started and how many activities are in progress? Okay, activities uh, is plan is called cost over uh, over time and uh, labor over time. Similarly, you have class dashboard and project manager manage measures. Okay, activity status: how many studies started, completed, and progress and critical activities and uh, constant activities as plan and uh, number of uh, constant activities. And then uh, critical activities as percentage. So this is like a very good uh, graphical and number numeric presentation. So I hope this video uh, is has some helpful for you, and it give you and I I'm, I hope that it will increase some information and uh, knowledge to, for your increase your knowledge. And if you if if so if you like this video uh, helpful, please share with your other planning engineer for the information and please like share uh, this channel to support uh, to support making more videos like this for our fellow plan engineer so keep please keep in touch and i i i, uh, I appreciate your suggestions and your advices and if you need some information from me or some help please write in comments and until next video uh, and i will be uh, next video thank take care take care of yourself and see you again in next video take care and bye bye